Hey, I'm Bruce Cook, and this is going to be a late night video. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning here in Georgia. I'm having trouble falling asleep. Sometimes I find uh, eating something really spicy and warming my belly up helps me uh, fall asleep when nothing else works. I did have a, I did have a little bit to drink, I'll be honest, um, and it did not help. Um, I actually did just eat a couple of these. This is the uh, chocolate scorpion. Went out and picked uh, a couple of these things and took a small fraction of my leftovers from supper and uh, ate the two scorpions with it and it honestly didn't do a darn thing uh, it was a little spicy in the mouth and it went away very quickly and when I'm looking for some spiciness uh, uh, in my stomach so um, but anyways we're gonna eat this real quick and uh, um, see what it does for me so here you go chocolate scorpion Oh, that is good. Man, I love the taste of these chocolate scorpions. I got that swallowed. And normally, if I've had a little bit to drink and uh, I eat something spicy afterwards, uh, the alcohol that had been in my mouth usually amplifies the you know, heat of whatever it is I ate. So uh, we'll see if that happens here. Chocolate scorpions um, are said to get up to 2 million Scoville heat units, one like 1 1.2 to 2 million, something like that. So. Uh, got a little bit of burn underneath the tip of my tongue, a little bit on the sides. If I remember right, that's uh, where these chocolate scorpions um, typically attack me anyways. <clears throat> got a little bit stuck between my uh, inside of my cheek and my uh, gum line over here on my uh, left side. I do got the uh, camera on the uh, reverse the mirror mode, so this is my left side. I really don't care for the mouth burn. I'm hoping for uh, a little bit of burn in my belly. Because uh, I found that it could actually sedate me and put me to sleep really quick <laughs> when I'm having trouble sleeping. So I was going to do this anyways, whether I recorded this or not. Thought I'd get uh, the same video. Thought I'd make it for a uh, funny video, unusual video. I usually don't make videos like this, so you can probably tell by the way I'm talking. Uh, well, something's up. <laughs> I've had a little bit to drink. So, one and a half out of ten, not two. Just the underside of the front of my tongue right now. Um, actually, the sides of my tongue in the very back, uh, underneath. Well, I got. Well, I got a piece, uh, a piece of that pepper stuck between the inside of my cheek and my. Uh, Gums in the back left. I think I got it out. A little bit between my teeth. Still a one and a half. It's actually uh, getting uh, tears coming out. Little drip on the nose. Probably the uh, two peppers that I just ate. That little tiny bit of food I had probably bumped my tolerance up a little bit. That's probably why I'm not feeling very much right now. But like I said, I don't care. It's not bothering my mouth. What matters is uh, my stomach gets a little warm. It's going to help uh, put me to sleep real quick. So I got uh, got to be at work at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's already 1 o'clock in the morning. So I'm trying to get to bed and sleep as quick as possible. I usually do not stay up this long. I'm usually in bed uh, by anywhere between 10 to 11.30, depending on which night it is during the week. Say so, heat's down to one. Uh, like I said, usually after I drink, if I have something to drink and I eat peppers afterwards, which I have done videos doing that, it amplifies the uh, 
the heat in my mouth. I think the uh, Death Spiral Pepper, if I remember right, uh, it was a Death Spiral Pepper I ate uh, on video. I had gotten from Tom Broom of uh, Seriously Hot Peppers. I think I remember I ended that video quick and it actually sent me running to the sink because it uh, burned the crap out of my mouth. Because I had, I actually had a little bit to drink before I made that video. Same thing happened uh, when I had re reviewed the Yellow Mer Yellow Murga Scorpion a couple years ago when I was staying with my coworker um, in his trailer. I had a little bit of drink and uh, ate that scorpion pepper. I didn't have to end the video early or run for relief, but uh, um, I did end up. Uh, I can't remember if I ended the video earlier or not, but uh, I don't think that ever made it up on YouTube. Um, the volume was all screwed up on that video. I was being very quiet because my uh, co-worker's family was asleep in the house and uh, I went to review the video and the audio was <laughs> so quiet when I was talking that it kind of ruined the whole thing, but uh, the heat's well below one. Someone said nothing. I'm just hoping I got little warmth in my stomach, like I said. So, this has been the third chocolate scorpion pepper I ate in the last 10 15 minutes. Uh, hopefully, I can get a little bit of warmth in there to put me to sleep. But, uh, got a got good little bit of tears coming out. Tiny bit of snot. Uh, it's got my saliva going. But, well, that heat, well, that heat dropped awfully quick, though. So, but, yeah, might as well make that the end of the video. I just thought I'd sh uh, shoot this uh, short video, capture uh, me eating this pepper after, uh, you know, <laughs> getting drunk a little bit. Thought y'all might get a kick out of that. So, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>